My name is Peter Ralla. My name is Jonathan Kennedy. My name is Julian Schneider, and I'm on the Automated Subject Heading Extraction Project. And this is a project working on some of the older books and mostly books that we have at Kentway Library of Medicine, which uh, for space reasons we have sent to the Harvard Depository, which is the off-site storage. The model 20, 30 years ago is that you could browse the shelf, but with the crunch for space, with more and more things being digitized, with you know the university and the medical school wanting needing the space for other things than just big shelves of books, it's better for the university, but it does make it harder for students and professors to find the books. Uh, so because these books are not in the building anymore, people can't just browse them on the shelf, and there's not good information about them in the catalog. We, we're trying to make the catalog record and the data about the books better and more rich so that we can help fill in that gap of people who can't just browse the shelf for what they're looking for. In the medical world, the mesh headings are the real constant when it comes to discovery. So if these don't have mesh headings, it really reflects in the relevancy rankings when people sort their catalog. So a lot of these items can be almost invisible. Today, um, a user may be searching for um, information on cardiac arrest. It, books that have not been cataloged with those terms, um, they're not full text in, indexed um, today like you would expect from Google. These books are sitting on a shelf somewhere. So they have to be indexed with subject headings in our catalog before they're discoverable to the user. When books are cataloged in libraries, typically it's an individual sits down and looks at the book and says, okay, this is about the influenza epidemic in the 1910s in Massachusetts and adds those mesh, mesh headings individually or, um, and, and manually. What this project is looking at is a way to do that quicker by using computers rather than having one person spend 20 minutes on each book trying to figure out what it's about to see if a computer can read the text and then assign headings based on that. That means that we can catalog books, or hopefully we can catalog books, with a computer um, before a human has had time to go through the process themselves. So we scan through the digital copy of the book, pulling out all of the medical concepts um, using the ontologies that are um, that have been created for this for this purpose um, and then we can take those concepts put them in the catalog so people s searching for cancer of the lung cardiac arrest um, different medical conditions can can find them the tool for this process is almost complete and we will soon be um, running through a set of uh, digital books that we've established for our test phase. Peter is, you know, our, our one of our head catalogers here and... I can briefly tell you what my role on the team is, sure. which which is to be the dinosaur. <laughs> Peter is, is our gold standard for determining how well this tool can um, match what a human can do. So I'm the control group. So I'm we've got a list of a hundred books that I'm going to manually assign these uh, subject headings to and then we're going to run the computer program uh, against it. We'll be passing that off to Julian. I am an expert on mesh, so I will be looking at the results from our tool to see if they match up well with the work that Peter did. To see how well person versus computer stacks up. <laughs> it's really important for anybody that wants to do any kind of research because you have to discover the materials that you have access to. So if there's, there are not good ways of indexing what a paper is about, what a book is about, um, the material is simply going to be lost in the haystack.